This type of artwork, I call them wall drawings, uh, they're site works which are made directly in the space. So I always see this type of art making as an experiment. The artwork meets the space in an unknown way. And I've been learning a lot about the work uh, during the making of it and now that it's finished as well. The qualities of the space that attracted me were, I suppose, these two walls that face each other. So as soon as you get two elements like that, you have a relationship between two parts and that creates real opportunities. The other thing I really liked was that the windows um, at this northern end of the space have been opened. There's often a wall built across the space or blinds covering the windows and we decided to keep them open and raise the blinds so we have natural light coming in, at times direct light coming into the space. We have the movement of the light and the light on this northern end meets the light at the southern end, the main entrance. So light has been one of the qualities that I've worked with with the previous artworks I've made for City Gallery. I've been working with yellow for quite a while, I suppose since about 2015, quite directly as a single colour. I've been using one colour at a time. <laughs> Um, two colours is quite difficult and a good friend of mine said uh, colour is never alone so whatever colour I'm working with it has a complexity that shifts in light. Colour is essentially just light. So this, this particular colour I've been just working with variations on it really, some warmer cooler variations but also different dilutions. To me it seems all colours have so much opportunity. I'm not sure when I'm going to move away from this colour, but I'm probably a bit past being in the middle of my time with this particular colour. And I don't generally think about colour in a symbolic way. I think about colour as um, sensation, um, as feeling, uh, something we perceive in very different ways, uh, and colours constantly changing in light and time. So. Uh, it seems simple on one level, but very complex once we start to perceive it in a slower, more kind of uh, careful, focused way. I'm trying to make time uh, a component in the work, part of the consideration of work, so, so that we become more conscious of our experience in front of the artwork. I had 10 days to make this work, so I measured out my time, thinking uh, how much of this wall will I get painted in that time in relation to the speed of making the work. So I had a sense of that. I think of time as being um, a quality, um, as part of the nature of the space. I think of the way sound, you might think of sound occupying space um, as it having shape. Uh, I think of time as occupying space and having a particular quality, a particular shape to it. And the time that I make this work allowed me to develop the piece as I, as I went. I'm constantly responding to the marks as I, as I make them. And that's something that doesn't happen through, through thinking, but it happens through a response to the piece over time. But that time is different to the time that the viewer experiences. So I think by trying to make something that where the making of the work over time is apparent, um, it helps or invites the audience to think about uh, that experience, but also to think about their experience in the space in a direct way. What is the, what is the nature of the time that they're experiencing here. The start of the work is always uh, quite a nerve-wracking moment, seeing how the paint fits with the wall. I wanted to warm up the walls a bit, so we have painted them, we've prepared them in a really particular way, so the walls are very absorbent uh, for the paint. So I'm thinking about the paint meeting the wall, so it sits on the wall, sits in the wall, rather than sliding down the surface, so there's a sense of touch. The brush holds a really particular amount of paint, which is just released in a very particular way with a, 
horizontal line and dashes and the sections are determined by how much paint is in the brush. So the brush is just releasing the paint into this form. Some parts have two layers of paint so we get a tonal shift that help create the pattern. And I'm constantly responding as well. So you'll see that the nature of the brush stroke changes throughout the work and that's something I just discover and respond to as I go. But it's doing a very similar thing for quite, quite a long time, I suppose. It seems like a very unusual thing to do, but while you're in that space making it, it's a very natural thing to do as well. Using a, a repeated form in a pattern, um, I know what to do next. Um, but every time I make something within that pattern, it's a surprise because it always comes out differently. This artwork is called Walking Drawing. The whole show is called Room of Time. Uh, walking Drawing comes from, I suppose, my love of walking, and I decided to think about how to make some artwork around drawing. So the structure for this comes out of a, a stepping, breathing action, if you like, and I, I use the term walking meditation. I wanted this, this work in some way to sit beside that through through its form and that it's a, a repeating pattern. Um, it's a very simple, focused work that encourages people to engage directly with this piece, with their experience in this space. On one hand, this is a very simple practice and I'm interested in, the, in this process of coming up with something simple and letting the work unfold into a space um, to find its own complexity within architecture, within people's experience.